All right, step one is getting it jacked up in the air. Uh, as you can see, I have to use a whole bunch of two buys cut to make my jack stands even longer, even though these are, these are huge jack stands to start with, uh, six ton jack stands, and get everything jacked up, then lower the axle down on its own weight so that it will actually be hanging because we're gonna slightly disconnect it from the leaf spring. And I've got two floor jacks under there as well. The uh, floor jacks are holding the axle still, and once I get the U-bolts uh, off, the axle will drop down just a little bit so I can put in my plate to move it forward. Through the magic of editing, we're gonna take off the U-bolts real quick. U-bolts are loose. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this jack just a hair, which will let my axle down just a little bit. So I went ahead and lowered the jack down, and also uh, you need to take your sway bar link loose if you still have a sway bar. And what I did was, I believe the pin is 5 8 and I don't have a mic to get in there to measure that pin right there, that alignment pin. So I took a 5 8 drill bit, drilled a spot in this little piece of wood, I'll put it under there and just confirm I'm trying to get a good angle for you and there it goes right there hard to do with one hand but uh, this does confirm for me that the pin is 5 8 I'm going to take this same thing and with my new metal that I'm making the pin out of put the pin right there and yep that fits good too so that's what size our pin needs to be 5 8 so what I've done here is clamped my main springs with C clamps very tightly on the side I'm actually going to take an angle grinder and knock off this bolt because I'm going to replace the center pin when I do this that way I can make the new plate part of the entire leaf stack uh, which keeps it nice and legal so it's not a block There it goes. Let me show you my plate here I made. So this right here is where the old center pin is going to fit in. I'm actually replacing my center pin because it was all nasty looking. And this is a grade eight bolt. Uh, it was half inch uh, for the center pin. So I did put this in the drill press and I ran an angle grinder against it. And you can see I made the head. This is a regular grade eight bolt, but I made the head nice and round like that by doing that. And so what I did is the head is five eighths like the existing alignment pin. And you can see it fits in there perfect. And I made that hole halfway through and then switched over to half inch. That way, this will go in nice and tight. And you see that sits flush or just below the surface. So that's where the existing, this is gonna be the new center pin for my spring pack. This is gonna hold the whole leaf together and this is gonna be my new alignment pin. So what I did was I drilled another 5 8 hole in that and then I took a 5 8 bar and ran through and just stuck it out a little bit and then welded the back side completely full uh, and then ground that back flat. So this should be extremely strong and in no way breakable or any kind of safety issue. I'm going to take this and put it together with the rest of my leaf pack and put it back on. Here we are all buttoned up. Uh, that's the plate that I made in there on the bottom. I decided to add a second plate that way I would have a full inch of lift additional in a in addition to scooting the axle forward one inch. You could have done it with just the half inch plate. Uh, that way it would only go up a half inch, but there we go. Works perfect. All ready to put the tire back on.